Hey guys, what's going on? Got the horror stash here. Got another uh, item to uh, show you here. It's a vintage piece. Uh, it's um, a kid's toy from uh, back in the day. And uh, his name is Hugo, the man of a thousand faces. And I bet you what you're saying is, how, how is this horror related? Well, I'll, I'll tell you, there's a couple ways that it's related. One is, uh, Hugo here managed to find his way onto the uh, top 10 most creepiest kids toys ever made list. So that's number one. Number two is the backstory behind this toy. Um is pretty freaky um, basically what this toy is is kids would would buy this here's the original box here it's uh, the box is folded up and in inside this plastic protective um, uh, protective sleeve here but as you can see kids what they would do is they would uh, you know, disguise, they would put disguises on Hugo here. Uh, the kit would come with uh, mustaches and glasses and different wigs that you can put on them. Um, you know, you can, um, you know, do different eyebrows. It would come with different eyebrows. And you actually uh, glue these uh, eyebrows and beards and stuff to his face. Uh thus man with a thousand faces uh hugo now you're wondering what the backstory is well the backstory is is hugo is really a serial killer that's the uh kind of urban legend that you know the toy company came up with that hugo is on the run he's a serial killer um he's wearing this almost like uh straight jacket looking shirt and you know, if you can, I'll give you a straight on look at his face. He's got big, wide open blue eyes with a non expression face. And they made him look, you know, in my opinion, and others as well, he looks creepy as shit. Almost like a, like a serial killer would. No emotion. So, uh, even on the box here with the kid, you know, he's got the glasses and the beard. You know, so that's kind of the backstory. Uh, let me give you, a, I'll show you the back end there. There you go. Easily, ch easily change disguises uh, to fit you and your puppet. Create thousands of pretend friends. So there you have it. If that's not a creepy look, look at look, look at the kid with the with the doll there. It's just creepy. So I, I uh, saw this on the top 10 creepiest toys ever uh, made list. And uh, I had to have one. So I got this a few years back off eBay. Very good condition. It's hard to find them in this day and age. Complete with the, with the shirt and everything. And not really that, you know... Um, messed up on the face a lot of them you find are beat up this one actually had a mark on the back of his head and the seller said that you know it was on there for good well i got it back to the house and i actually buffed the mark out and the mark came out so uh it worked out pretty well and then it also came in original box uh i saved the box for this one because it's vintage so, anyway, there you have it. Hugo, man with a thousand faces. Serial killer? I don't know. Question mark. I don't know. Definitely uh, looks, looks that way to me. Alright. See you guys later.